Hey yo, what is happening guys? This is Eat Like Nate Chait, coming at you with another video. So today we actually have some news regarding Kingdom Hearts 3. This was actually done in an interview uh, regarding Final Fantasy 7 Remake, but they couldn't help but ask a few questions about Kingdom Hearts. So without further ado, let's just uh, dive straight into it. As you can see right here from KH13, uh, Tetsuya Nomura interviewed with the last issue I think people were saying about PlayStation Dengeki about the development of the Kingdom Hearts series uh, translated. PlayStation Dengeki recently conducted an interview with Tetsuya Nomura about the FF7 remake. Within this interview, however, PlayStation asked about the Kingdom Hearts series and this is what followed. So yeah, we hijacked the interview. <laughs> So right here, let us talk about the Kingdom Hearts series, says the interviewer. In January, we saw the release of Kingdom Hearts Remind. This scenario of Remind basically gave us a behind-the-scenes perspective of the final cutscenes of the game. Correct? Then Nomura was like, the Remind cutscenes allow players to better understand the story, and they were created uh, based on the feedback we got from thousands of players. The way we structured the cutscenes also allowed for better storytelling of the final cutscenes of the game from the other characters' perspectives without having Sora intertwine physically in them, something that, as you could tell, would be quite hard to do, and they're right. Then the interviewer said, the data battles come to KH3 Remind, correct? They have been considered to be battles that are so hard they'll make you grit your teeth. And then Nomura was like, that's right, the data battles were by far one that took up most of the time to develop. As we didn't want to make it easy, meh, battles that would suddenly disappoint players. We hope you enjoy fighting those data battles, I loved it. As each and every one of the 13 battles are unique in their own way and are definitely harder than usual combat. That is right, I enjoyed it. I still need to finish on Critical though. Then the interview about the secret episode. This is where we get a little juicy lads. Uh, who would have thought that Yazora, a character that just appeared in a video game character from a game in the toy box would appear? That was certainly a surprise we didn't ex expect. Tell me, is he going to become an important character that influences the plot of the series? Now, they didn't mention Final Fantasy at all, but Nomura just swept in and said, There have been a lot of speculation about how Yazora is very similar to how Noctis looks like in the Versus Final Fantasy series. He actually said Versus. I thought they weren't allowed to talk about that, but it looks good so far. But as someone who directed the title and knows all the story that was planned, I'm guessing for both. I can tell that this, the world of Verum Rex and Versus are very different. There are still lots of unanswered questions with one being, what is the connection between Verum Rex and KH3? And all I can say is, as the plot, adv as the plot advances, it will surely be an unexpected development. That gets me hype. I don't know what he's talking about, Nomura. You crazy, crazy man. I love you so much. Then the interviewer said, right, right, right. So long, sad remind. A new title called Kingdom Hearts Dark World will be coming this spring. Could you tell us more about it? Then Nomura said, the team is developing KH Dark Road in the same uh, the same ones who developed the KH Union Cross. So basically the same team. Uh, but I guess you could say they are different divisions. Although it will be an application added to the KH Union app, it's a branch of its own. TL note, this was mentioned previously, although you had to download the KH Union key to play Dark Road, you don't need KH Union key per se if you don't want to. Dark Road focuses on Xehanort's past and I'm sure you heard that it will bring your attention to the questions why did he become a seeker of darkness also I said this already in the seven questions of light and the 13 questions of darkness uh, in interviews that I answered Tai Yasue the co-director on Twitter although the team that developed Dark Road is the same as Union Cross 
There are two different divisions working in parallel. We are doing our best to finish Dark Rose development as soon as possible, so we please ask that you wait a bit longer. So of course Dark Road is going to be a game, well on mobile, that is going to be highly anticipated, uh, branch off from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. I'm excited for it. So yeah, that's, that's very interesting stuff. Uh, I just want to say that Versus 13 and Verum Rex then co being completely different, um, not completely different but very different. Uh, that that gets me thinking, you know, what if how everyone was saying Final Fantasy Versus 13 was supposed to be one of the darkest entries in the Final Fantasy universe, possibly one of the darkest games ever made. And you're saying Verum Rex could have those elements. It could be a dark type of story. And Yazora could be a dark character. We don't know the future of Kingdom Hearts, but the thing is, if they are very different, I think this relates to how Yazora is proceeded compared to Noctis. Uh, because, of course, Noctis is seen as a prince. However, within the secret endings of the Yazora fight, we know that he's a commander. And maybe they just call the pr prince a commander. He could just be a hunter, you know, from all the signs. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of speculation. I have an entire series dedicated to Yazora, even though he really hates me. Anyway, um, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Do you think Verum Rex and Final Fantasy vs. 13 are somewhat the same? Uh, or what do you expect them to actually do with Verum Rex within the Kingdom Hearts lore? So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Also leave a like, helps me a lot, comment down in the comment section down below what you guys think. And share with friends because sharing is caring. And most importantly, subscribe to come if a lightning bolt. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. And as always, this is the Lightning Chate. Uh, blaze out.